and sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pawana Sapakna. Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And then stay with the in and out breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. As for anything else you might know right now, you can just let it go, let it pass. Sounds can come in the ears. You have different sensations in the body. Thoughts come, come into the mind, but you don't have to pay them any attention. Just stay with the feeling of the breath. And try to see what kind of breathing feels comfortable right now. What would feel nourishing to your heart? What would feel nourishing down the torso? Try to breathe in a way that gives energy to those parts of the body. If you're feeling tense, try to breathe in a way that's more relaxing. In other words, use the breath as a kind of medicine. Because as we go through life, our, our minds are scarred by all kinds of things. Things that other people say and do, our own emotions when they get really overwhelming. And they weaken the mind. And they make it easy for more greed, aversion, and delusion to rise in the mind. And then you start doing all kinds of unskillful things. So you need to protect the mind, heal the mind from its scars, and give it strength. So as you face the world, you can face it with strength and with wisdom. Because sometimes we know the right thing to do, but we just don't have the strength to do it. Other times we're really confused. Getting the mind still really helps with it, both. In other words, you get the mind really still and you can see clearly what's actually going on. Things you didn't see before because you were running right past them. Now they stand out. And you can check and see, okay, this kind of intention, that doesn't look skillful. Maybe better not go with it. This one looks more skillful. Let's give it a try. But then if you don't have any strength, it's hard to carry that through. So this is why the, the other good part of the concentration, it really is strengthening both for the body and the mind. After all, your breath is the basic force of life. It's what keeps the body and mind together. So when the breath is good, it's going to have a good impact on the body. It's going to have a good impact on the mind. This way you can see clearly what needs to be done, and you have the strength to do it. And that's how your life gets put into shape. And at the end of the day, you can rest again to gather up your strength for the next day. This is a skill that's really useful to have at all times. Keep at it every day. Because otherwise you get frazzled, you get weakened. Your understanding of what's going on gets pretty blurry. And it's no wonder that we make mistakes when the mind is in that shape. So when you're mindful and alert in these ways, okay, the opportunity to make mistakes like that gets less and less and less. And your life gets more and more under your control. It becomes the kind of life that you really are proud to have shaped, because you shaped it well. <laughs>